we have got a great video today because we are going to announce the winner of this custom frame that I am going to be giving away to someone at the end of the video. I don't know who it is yet. I, it's going to be a random pick. I'm going to do it on camera. So good luck if you entered the competition. First, we're going to talk about this frame. This is the Armatan Badger, which is the latest frame from the guys that brought you the rooster and the chameleon. It's been dubbed the marmot with replaceable arms, which I think is fairly accurate. The entire top half is the same as the marmot. The only difference is the way that the arms are mounted. They can be removed. They can be mounted on the top or bottom of the base plate. And this gives you a lot of flexibility. You can do really tight builds and have the arms protected on the inside. Or you can give yourself a bit of space and mount the arms on the bottom, which is what I've chosen to do here. I built this one up with a KISS V2, a Wolf PDB, KISS 32 amp ESCs on all the arms, T-Motor F60 Pro 3 2500KVs, uh, Foxeer Predator V4 Mini, Unify V3 HV VTX, Crossfire Nano, and we've got the Azure Johnny 4838 props. I have a theory that I want to share with you guys. I think that the mid-throttle oscillation gate that happened and everybody started complaining about their Armatan frames is because uh, when you have a solid base plate, there's the, the, frequent, the, the vibrations that are created by the motors are traveling back and forth and there's no break point in the frame for these to escape. I think when you have separate arms, you have a break point in the frame for vibrations to actually escape, which sounds bad because it means that the frame would create vibrations, but they can escape before they build up and they resonate and they get larger to the point where they would actually affect the flight. So I think removable arms are the way to go if you don't want any mid-throttle oscillations. So with that in mind, this frame has none. You'll see from the flight, this is taken on a session five. It should be running now. There's no stabilization at all here and it looks pretty smooth. It's not my best flight obviously because it's the first, it's a maiden. When you maiden things you don't tend to go absolutely mental because you're just feeling it out and you're getting a feel for things. But I enjoyed it and I had a really good flight experience and it just felt absolutely perfect. Obviously with a maiden you've got perfect props, perfect motors as well and everything is just... But saying that I had a few flights afterwards. This was a 20 pack day all on this one quad and there was it was just perfect all the way through.
don't have a PhD in physics, so I don't know if this theory about these Mithril oscillations holds any truth. But I can definitely say this is the nicest flight experience I've ever had with any frame, Armitan or not. And it's probably one of the nicest build experiences I've had. There's plenty of room on the inside and it's very durable. I've flown it for two weeks. You're seeing the first flight that I had. There's plenty more to come from this frame and it's been bando bashing. It's had a few heavy hits into trees and not a single bit of damage yet. That's the review over with, that's the maiden watched. This means only one thing, it's time to play who's gonna win that quad that I built a few weeks ago. And honestly the, uh, the response has been amazing. I got like two, two and a half thousand views on that video which eclipses everything I've ever done before. So thank you everyone for entering and good luck to all of you. We're gonna go over to the other side of the studio now and by studio I mean my front room, uh, where the wheel of decision has been set up. So let's go take a look at that now. This is it. This is the prize winning picking wheel. Prize winner, prize winner picker. This is the wheel that will determine who wins the prize. Everybody that put a comment in the last video, has a name has been put into this wheel and we're gonna stop it randomly. So how are we gonna stop it? Well. We're gonna need an assistant. Okay. And he's gonna pick our price. This, this iPad here has one button on it, so hopefully he can't miss. All he has to do is press this, and that will trigger the stopping of the wheel. What's the button? <laughs> yes! Yes! All right, he's gonna win. <laughs> Casey has decided, the wheel has been spun, it is Bay 510 Repton. Congratulations, you are the winner of the drone and your progress through the year is outstanding. I'm about four months into flying FPV and this has been very inspirational. Thank you for the opportunity to win this giveaway. Fly on and fly strong, that's beautiful. Well done Bay 510 Repton. how you win will be in the description below, just follow the instructions and I'll get that shipped out to you as soon as possible. All right, as for everyone else, people that didn't win, we actually have something else planned that you're gonna to wanna to stick around for, so just bear with me one second while we go over here. For those of you that didn't win, congratulations to the winner, but for everybody else, what we're gonna do uh, every single video from now on, I'm gonna be giving away a prize. That sounds crazy, I know. How can you give away a prize? every single video. Well, I don't put out that many videos for a start, but I'm gonna start doing a few more. Should be at least once a week. And the way we can do this is <laughs> with this. Over the last year, I've been collecting and trying a lot of different drone setups and I've been just accumulating parts that I'm probably never gonna use again. So I'm gonna pass those on to you guys. Packs of props. But it's not just propellers. There is a lot of propellers, I'm not gonna lie. ESC flight controller combo. Cameras here, so this is a Foxia Mix. Night Eagle Pro, that's pretty cool, that's a night camera. Antennas, there's some face foam for a fat shirt. A set of motors, so four motors. A Unified Pro Nano, that's a VTX. That's a Unified Pro 5G8. Why don't I, why don't I want this? Oh, it's the five volt one. So yeah, five volt VTX, not bad. Although we have this, Lovely selection of prizes in here, and we'll do a dip from there every video. Every now and again, for special occasions, I'm also going to do bigger prizes. I was going to do a special giveaway on the 1,000 subscribers, thinking it would take like a year, another year, but it's already like like nearly 840 now, so that's gone up a lot since uh, you know three weeks ago when it was like 250. So we're probably going to get to 1,000 sooner than I thought. So I'm gonna give away this when we get to 1,000. And what this is, is it's my first radio. And it's really special because I customized the shit out of it. I basically put all the mods that you can in it and it still is in really good shape. So I'll open it up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's a QX7 with whole sensor gimbals with uh, internal charging mods so you can charge when the battery's inside it. 
Uh, it comes with the crossfire mod ready done as well and I've got the stick ends, the red stick ends, red hardware around the edges, I've cut down the switches so they're just the right size. Everything's been modded on it that can be modded. It's a really good radio. It's got this nice red kickstand on the back and they're not easy to find in red, I have to be honest. So if you're a fan of uh, red, <laughs> you want to stay tuned because at 1000 subscribers I'm going to be giving away my radio. It's got an extra battery with it and a charger. Right, so let's get to the picking. Because I know everything that is in this box, I know what all the prizes are, and I don't want to be biased and pick things of certain value. I'm going to get Claudia here to pick the prize. Okay, what do you think that is? Um, shall I open it? <laughs> it's, it's really heavy. <laughs> It says power supply on it. That's what it is, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so for the next uh, competition, we have a 24 volt power supply. This is very useful if you want to do any charging of lots of batteries at the same time. The reason I'm giving it away is because it's for the US voltage, so it only goes up to 130 volts. So if you're not from the US, then you probably don't want to enter this one because this will be useless to you. But it has a high, quite a high monetary value, but because I can't use it, I'm going to give it away. All right, if you want to win that, leave a comment in this video and then in the next one, we'll do the wheel again and find out who wins. Okay, thanks for watching and bye bye.